All right, this uh, video is hopefully going to be on the shorter side, and it is going to cover the human rights paragraph, which will be your first body paragraph. Um, so it'll be after the introduction paragraph in your research paper. So let's go ahead and get started and see what we are going to be including in this. It's pretty straightforward. Um, so this is going to be, once again, after your introductory paragraph. Um, and really, that you are just introducing the idea of human rights, introducing uh, the concept of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, so that document, and then explaining how your issue um, and the side that you take on your issue are related to human rights, which makes it universally important because it affects everyone with these rights, which is everybody. Um, so really, there's a couple steps that I would follow um, since since this is just specific to our research paper, I feel comfortable giving you these steps as just things to almost check off your, your mental to-do list when creating this paragraph. Um, so the first step per usual with a body paragraph is going to be to create a topic sentence. And here I'm just really looking for you to make a general statement about the Universal Decora Declaration of Human Rights or the UDHR um, and ex ex just introduce the concept of it what is it? What does it do? When was it created? Um, so that's just a, sen a sentence or two, um, really. So I would be looking for uh, just connecting human rights to your topic. So here, if I'm using the topic of recreational marijuana, uh, a good topic sentence or example of a topic sentence would be, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights is a document that was approved by many world leaders in 1948. It outlined a common standard of fundamental human rights to be universally protected. Um, several of the articles in this important document help ensure why American citizens should be able to consume recreational marijuana. So just even though that's broken up into two sentences, providing some context, some background information on the source itself, and then making that connection to your topic. So bottom line for the topic sentence or the beginning of your uh, human rights paragraph, give some background on the UDHR and then explain how that, explain that there is a connection between the UDHR or its articles and your topic, all right? Moving on to step two, look at your source sheets and isolate two or three of the articles from the UDHR that most often connect to your side of the argument. So you're looking at the human rights area where you're writing down the number of the human right that you see present in the article, the source that you are reading. Um, and you are just going to pick two or three that you think have a pretty strong connection to your topic, and you're going to outline them in your, in your essay here for step two in your human rights paragraph. So, um, just looking for keywords here. So the only reason I highlighted those words is that those keywords might connect to your, your topic. You don't need to necessarily quote the entire article, um, but you want to make sure you quote the most important part. And I didn't have a meme for this page, so baby Yoda it is. I don't think anybody could complain about that. Um, but moving on, uh, you should be having two to three articles or human rights from the UDHR to use as your evidence. So the evidence is going to be you quoting the articles from the UDHR. Um, and so that's your evidence, your quoted evidence with a citation. Um, and then the step after that is just going to be essentially to link or to explain how those human rights that you picked connect to your topic. So just a sentence or two explaining how the article or the human right that you chose connects uh, to your argument of your topic. So like in this case, the topic was supporting the legalization of recreational marijuana. So I would be explaining here, um, pulling a human right as a quote um, for my evidence. And then after that, explaining how that human right connects to the support of legalizing recreational marijuana. Um, so here would be a sample. Uh, I already talked about, I already basically read this part to you, the, the topic sentence where I'm introducing my source and then making sure that I'm showing that the UDHR and the human rights in general connect to my topic in a meaningful way. Uh, everything that's yellow is going to be a quote with a citation afterwards, as well as some context connected to it at the beginning. 
So I have a transition phrase to begin next, finally, uh, depending on where, which right it is in my sequence of ones that I'm using. Um, and then I would just introduce the article. Article 25 states that. And then using the uh, exact quote from the UDHR to explain what the right is. Notice uh, you may cut some pieces out here using ellipses, or you may just not quote it all quite like you do here. Um, and then you would put a citation at the end. Uh, the author would just be the United Nations. So you would do the United Nations capitalized since it is a proper noun. And then article, art abbreviated period, and then whatever number it ends up being. Um, I'm really just looking for the article itself. So the blue parts are going to be the, the link, the explanation. So let's take a look at this one all put together. To begin, Article 25, Part 1 states that everyone has a right to a standard of living adequate for the health and well-being of himself, including medical care. So my link to that is marijuana has been found to have numerous medical benefits, and Article 25 ensures individuals have the right to use marijuana as medicine. So we're seeing that connection here of health, uh, not only in the right, but also health as a means to support the viewpoint of my topic, right? Next one, next article 21 contends that the will of the people shall be the basis of the authority of government with my citation here, same thing, uh, with a period at the end. Therefore, my link, if voters choose to make marijuana a legal and taxable drug, this article allows them to do so. So once again, showing the will of the people shall be the law. And if this is the will of the people, then why, why would it not be passed? Um, finally, Article 27 concludes that everyone has the right to freely participate in the cultural life of the community, to enjoy the arts, and to share in scientific advancement and its benefits. Since no one is forcing another to consume marijuana, individuals should be given the option to choose whether or not to partake in any of marijuana's benefits should those individuals be able to choose to do so. So this one's talking about the right to participate um, in a cultural life or to enjoy and share in the scientific advancement and benefits. So this is me saying the the choice should be given to the individual um, as long as it does not harm harm the community. So hopefully that's helping you make some sense here. I've just introduced the declaration at the top, giving a bit of a background on it, and then making sure it connects to my article or my my topic and my viewpoint. Then I'm just providing some brief uh, context essentially a transition phrase and then saying which article I will be quoting, giving the quote, and then putting a citation. Once again, the author being the United Nations and then just putting article, whatever it ends up being, in our parentheses followed by a period. Then just a one to two sentence link explaining how your topic, how your viewpoint connects to the article itself, showing that this topic and my viewpoint on it are important because it affects all people, because it has has a strong basis in human rights and human rights issues. All right. So we're making the, the content of your paper very relevant because it can connect to everybody, because everyone is supposed to have these rights. Um, the works cited information, I will post these slides so you can essentially just copy and paste this information. Um, since I was the one that provided this resource for you originally. Um, so the United Nations would be the author, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, 1948. Um, and then we have the website, United Nations, and then 2015, the link, and then our access dates, all right? So obviously you would just need to doctor the access date, um, but otherwise this is formatted correctly and we will practice a hanging indent once we, once we get to the works cited portion of the research project. But just know this entry is here for you. You're, you're free to take that. Um, since I gave you this resource, I have no issues giving you the bibliographic information for it as well. Um, yep, so just note we will do a hanging indent uh, where everything below the top line is indented, uh, which is common practice for MLA works cited pages. Google Slides isn't a big fan of that, so we'll work on that once again once we get to that area. And then to wrap up, like I said, um, the parenthetical citations. So if you're just quoting something from the introduction of the UDHR, you would 
just quote the the title of the the piece, the first three words. Um, so that's what it would look like here. But more importantly, and especially more often, when you are quoting an article itself, you are going to be using uh, the United Nations as the author, and then article uh, abbreviated and lowercase followed by the article number itself. I'm really just focused on the main article. If you put the subsection of it, that's fine, but it will not be expected of you. But you will be expected to be putting citations after your quotes, especially in your uh, in any portion, really, but the human rights paragraph is no exception. Just because we're quoting from a source that we all have does not mean that we do not give it credit. So we want to make sure that when we're quoting one of the human rights articles, one of the human rights itself, you give proper credit to where you found it. So that would be the, the citation, the top one that you would be looking at and using in these areas, just uh, basically replacing the number with whichever article number you happen to be quoting from. So as Dwight says, citing your sources is optional. That would be false. Cite your sources. It's important. You're giving credit to the people that um, gave you the access to that work. But otherwise, uh, that is a brief rundown on what to expect for the human rights uh, paragraph, the first paragraph in our, the first body paragraph in our research paper for this term. So if you have any questions, let your teacher know. Otherwise, uh, this video will be here for you to reference whenever needed. Uh, the slides will also be available to you in Google Classroom. So keep it up. You're doing great. And I look forward to talking to you again soon.